Wow! Still summer vacation and I needed a few more things to do so this is the thing I got I got this I built a Tamiya Blackfoot so I'm gonna quickly introduce what I've done with this track and my paint scheme and such it looks pretty pretty sweet um, some of the upgrades I put on and then I'm gonna take it outside and uh, we're gonna give it a drive First off, you notice the paint scheme. I, uh, I've done it with metallic gray. So my black foot is actually gray and Tamiya Racing white. And for the decals, I actually cut them out with a craft knife. I put the stomping around on the back. This is flat black. And for the roll cage and light bar, I painted with Tamiya metallic uh, chrome paint, actually. Inside you can just barely see our driver in there and I did him out in a blue suit and red gloves. It's pretty sweet. Um, painted the grill up. All in all, I love this body. I've been waiting to get this truck for a long time. Um, there's not a lot available right now and I was happened to be out at a hobby store and they had one in stock and I just had to have it. I'm just going to pull the body clips. So my initial thoughts is this is pure 1980s goodness. Um, so there's the inside of my body. I didn't really make that nice, but all in all, I love the body. So what have I done for powertrain running a Tamiya BZ Superstock? I find these are quite good. I run the same thing in my lunchbox. Um, and I got the Quick Run Hobby Wing. 1060 ESC. I don't use the Tamiya ones because I find, especially here, where we get up to 35 degrees, they overheat really, really easily. Um, and the hobby wings um, fend much better for themselves. Um, so we will be running LiPo. I got a 4,000 milliamp hour round LiPo pack in there. Now, as far as upgrades, I did put some strengtheners, aluminum strengtheners on the front here so these don't crack because I've seen them crack. I have aluminum coilover shocks. The back ones I use the stock um, rear springs from the kit. Works pretty good. Um, I've put, as you can see we have MIP. I've put the MIP ball diff in and rather than running the CV joints I am running uh, frog cups and, and dog bones actually on the back. And when it's fully extended, they can click just a little bit, but when there's any weight on it, you don't hear it. Um, for the wheels, I painted the, I painted my wheels obviously, so they're not yellow. Um, they're also racing white. A full ball bearings throughout, and I put Tamiya CR01 foams in the tires. So these are actually foam tires. I don't know if that's going to help or hinder me. And I did glue them, even though in the instruction manual it says do not glue. Do not cement the tires. Um, I did cement them. I think the reason the instruction manual says that, if you look on the inside of the tire, you'll see these air holes that are around the ridge where you'd actually lay your glue. So I simply put a spot of glue between each set of holes and both sides, and that's holding the, the tires on. Um, I expect this to have a quite a bit of punch um, with this motor. These motors are really good, nice and quick. Um, and so I didn't want to be losing tires. Uh, I've also installed a wheelie bar that kind of sets in under the under the body. You don't really see it when the body's on. And an aluminum guard here because the plastic one won't fit when you put this wheelie bar on. I think that's about it for the upgrades. I'm running a Deco uh, high speed, high torque waterproof steering servo as well. 
Um, some thoughts on the build before we take it out and uh, probably scratch up the beautiful body. Some thoughts on the build. Um, it's it's a weird, the ORV is, is a bit of a weird chassis. I do like it. Um, some things I would, I would change, you know, if they keep re-releasing it. There's no reason why this part, this dust guard, where I can't fit my ESC, I can't fit everything under it. Anyway, there's no reason why it can't be actually somehow bolted on um, something around here rather than using zip ties. It, it's there to give strength to this front um, shock tower. Without it, everything would bend. Um, it's a bit of an odd design. I love it though. This is one of the three Tamiya vehicles I wanted and dreamt about as a kid. The other two being my bullhead. Not the Cloudbuster. I always wanted the bullhead, so I got that. And the lunchbox, and I have one of those. And now I have the Blackfoot. And I just love... I just love the uh, hard bodies, um, painting them, putting um, putting the stickers on. They just seem to be more. I don't know how to say. They seem to be more. They seem to be more uh, more real than the than the Lexan bodies. It's because of their hard body. Now let's see. There we go. So when I have the body on, you don't really notice that wheelie bar out back. It's kind of hidden behind the tires. But if you actually do wheelies, it will mm, get about a centimeter before it rips the bumper off. Um, so not too bad. It will definitely stop from hitting the body. Um, so that's all I have to say about it. There's lots of videos of this online. I'm sure you've seen it many times. I'm quite proud of the paint scheme. I think it looks quite good. Um, white wheels definitely look good. I was going to paint the frame black, but I actually thought, nah, I like... I like the red contrast and I gave my driver red gloves. I had a little bit of red up here. We have the Tamiya symbol over here, a little bit more red. Um, so that's it. Now I'm going to take it out and probably scratch it and damage my beautiful paintwork because that's what I do. If you take a close look at my, especially my lunchbox, <laughs> you'd see a lot of, uh, a lot of scrapes and dents and, and uh, I put so much effort into that paint. But anyway, this one's getting the same treatment. I think it's actually going to work a little bit like the lunchbox. I think it'll steer better. Um, it still has some weird camber issues when you use the front suspension, but not as bad as the uh, lunchbox. So here's the running video. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.
that drive it a little bit It's really good on this kind of series. Yeah. done something to the servo saver so I have to stop driving it. I must say these tires have absolutely zero traction on anything that's wet. Um, truck's a little bit dirty. Works pretty good though. I'm happy with it. Oh we got a stick in there. I don't know about these wires hanging out getting covered in mud but uh, yeah that's the Blackfoot. I'm happy I got one. Like subscribe hit the bell or else Please.